I blurry? I'm fat? Now you're in your focus. I can't help you with that. It's HD. HD. This is Mark Bell from Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. Uh, today I did some uh, dynamic effort uh, deadlifts with uh, my homie Taco Truck, the tallest Mexican in the world. We did um, about six or seven sets, I think, or maybe about eight sets of two reps um, with 140 pounds of chains. The chains are coming off the ground almost completely at the top, so it's an extra 140 at the top. And it's probably a little less than half of that at the bottom, so it's only like 60 or 70 pounds at the bottom of the lift. Uh, we did a lot of doubles working our way up. We got up to about 465, and uh, that was pretty much it. Now I'm gonna do some glute ham raises and uh, doing some abs. That'll pretty much be it for the day. Look at all that chain weight piled up right there. This is uh, me and my homie Amadeo, AKA Taco Truck, doing some speed pulls. All the pulls on this day were done raw. Um, really trying to work on honing in the uh, technique and um, just building strength instead of uh, instead of always testing it. Um, the whole point of the speed pull is to work on your form, reinforce good technique, and also to build explosive power. So you're seeing I'm trying to concentrate on pulling my chest up. I'm not very good at it, but that's what I'm trying to concentrate on. I talk here um, throughout the uh, throughout the day to uh, Taco Truck about him trying to position his hips just cr just right and about how, how he should uh, be setting up a little bit better. Um, for myself, the uh, main thing for me is try to get my shoulders back behind the barbell a little bit right before I pull. The main thing with him is to try to keep his back from rounding his uh, back tends to round quite a bit. Um, one cue I was working on, on him with for the day was to try to keep his shoulders high. Right before you pull, you want those shoulders up real high. Everyone's always talking about bringing the butt down real low. Well, bringing the butt down real low will depend on your arm length, will depend on your body type and how low you can bring your butt down. Bringing the butt down real low um, on any sort of deadlift is not always a good idea, but what we're after is a flat back. We want to try to get the back flat, or at least start with the back flat. If the thoracic spine rounds a little bit, the mid to upper back, not a huge deal. Actually, uh, that's the way a lot of the biggest deadlifts uh, ever are accomplished, or uh, with a little bit of rounding. So you see me slap them on the back there, trying to cue them to just flatten that out just to the last minute, and that's going to bring his hips down and bring his shoulders up just like it did there for me. That wasn't too bad by myself. But see, my shoulders are still a little bit forward. I could be kind of sitting into it more. But the big mistake that coaches make, the big mistake I see a lot of people make, is they think that you have to squat a sumo deadlift. And that's the dumbest thing that you can try to do because you don't want that range of motion to be any further than it needs to be. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, get down below parallel and... Um, sink your hips way down there and try to do a deadlift that way and uh, see how good that feels in a uh, sumo stance. It'll feel pretty awful. The other thing we're working on here for the day is grip. We're using a regular barbell rather than using a deadlift bar. So this bar has no whip. This bar is a little bit thick. Also the weights are very heavy at the top. It's an additional 140 pounds. And you're also going to see that this is a glaring weakness of mine. Oh there I, I went into fighter mode straight cap tilted to the side now I'm now I'm a badass cage fighter another thing I'm doing here is what I like to call swallowing up the bar I know a lot of you guys out there like to watch videos of swallowing so here's another one but uh, I like to swallow the bar up with my legs and this is what I was trying to teach taco truck too is um, a lot of people think that the the uh, weights need to be right up against your shin and in some cases they do but you want to turn your foot outward like that this is not the same as a squat. You want your feet to be pointed outward a little bit when you deadlift, especially sumo deadlift, because otherwise your freaking legs would be in the way. But you want to try to scrape the inside of your shin um, and not the front of your shin if you're going to scrape anything at all. I don't even really believe the bar has to scrape your shin. There he was trying to go with a double overhand grip. I have no idea why. Kind of just lost his mind. Got fired up. 
and you lost the weight. But you want to swallow the bar up with your legs. And the reason why I say that is that's going to bring your hips forward a little bit. That's going to keep you in perfect position to pull um, a good great bottom ball. position. It's a pussy chalk ball, look. It fucking fell apart. It can't hold up to what's going on here at Super Training. It's got gate chalk in it. Gate chalk is turning to powder. I don't know what the fuck's going on in here. Got some technical problems with our chalk bowl there. It's not holding up. But uh, watch the form here. This is pretty good. The bar is actually a little bit too far away from my shins at the start. But watch on the second one how it's corrected and how close the bar was to the shins and how easy the lift was. See, when you do it the right way, it's like swinging a golf club. You can really smash on it. I like to do um, I like to do a raw, uh, some raw dead lifting um, at least once a month, sometimes twice a month. I don't do a lot of it though. Uh, I suck at it for one. And secondly, um, I really need to work on my form in my suit and continue to perfect that. So I try to go back and forth because I do believe there is a great value in building up the raw strength. Um, so again, I do it about once or twice a month. Here's Taco Truck doing some reps now. This was actually an interesting uh, exercise. We only have 225 on there. We still have 140 pounds of chains. So we're just doing some reps, banging out sets of 10. What I liked about this exercise for me, someone who doesn't have great mobility, is that I could kind of load myself up into the deadlift on the eccentric, which I've never felt before. So now I can say, okay, I can load my hips up properly, I can wind myself into the right spot, and I can be in a little bit more of an upright position. Here we do it on a deficit as well. Almost like the way a squat pushes you down. You know how a lot of you big fat guys out there um, can't get into a, uh, into a deep squat until you got about four plates on your back? This is a similar principle. You have those weights kind of dragging you down, pushing you down, squishing you down, squishing your fat, however you want to put, however you want to put it. One added benefit to pulling with the chains like this is uh, that the chains hit you in the nuts a little bit every time you pull them, and that, that can be quite enjoyable. And actually, they hit me in the legs a couple times, gave me some good bruises, and also uh, split my fingernail, which was kind of cool. So you get a little bit of pain, torture, and agony with this exercise as well. But you can see, doing a decent job of keeping the um, shoulders high, even on the deficit. There's about a two-inch deficit there. I look like a regular deadlifting machine. Look at that. Complete with sound effects and everything. That's it from supertraining.tv. I hope you enjoyed it. Later.